Rangers and welcome to Ranger Ruby YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be going over some national park resources. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. So in today's video, I'll be sharing three official national park websites that are awesome for teachers who need educational resources about national parks. However, if you are not a teacher, do not shy away from this video. We've still got some awesome ways to learn and explore the National Park Service. And if you have any more that I didn't mention in this video, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Now, the first website that I'll be talking about is the education page for teachers. This basically is exactly what it sounds like. It's a hub of places that you can find information about national parks on the web. And like many national park sites, there's a search bar so you can search specifically for a topic that you wanna know more about that pertains to the national parks, like George Washington's science, art, all kinds of resources. And you can even search stuff by grade or by class or subject. The National Park Service makes it really easy for teachers to find resources that pertain to specifically what they're studying in their class. This page leads to external resources, including different junior ranger books that one can complete in a classroom and different programs that get kids into national parks for free, as well as ways that teachers can contact the national parks for more information. This page is really awesome if you want to have a nice, easy way into finding resources for your class or just for your own educational purposes. The second resource I recommend is the Parked at Home video series. The Parked at Home video series was started in 2020 when we were all missing and craving to be inside national parks, but we couldn't go there. So rangers all around the world were making videos on different topics. And these are really fun because not only are they done by real national park rangers, but they're done in short, easy to understand videos about specific topics. Again, all of this will be linked in the description. And finally, the third website is something specifically for teaching about historic places, peoples, and events. Even though some of the other mentions that I have in this video do include resources that lead to things about historic places and people, this page is specifically for that. It can lead you to interactive lesson plans that you can share with your students or you can do yourself. It also teaches about specific months that you might want to celebrate in your classroom that I talked about last video, link in the card. This page really engages students and yourself with these histories that we have in our own country and has a lot more in-depth access links that you can find specific to history. Almost all of these educational resources are 100% free and provided by the National Park Service. And there are so many other sites that I haven't mentioned but I have in previous videos that you should definitely check out as well. Well, everybody, that is the end in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below with your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you. Also, be sure to click that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it to always know when I post new videos. Thank you so much for watching again, and I shall see you next video. Bye!